Hey guys, so for today's video, it's going to be way different than I was kind of hoping. So I was actually planning to do like a sit down video and make it all fancy and everything and go through all of the things I'm doing to prepare for this frozen transfer and time just got away from me and it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> My transfer is tomorrow morning. Um, when you are watching this, I will probably already be doing it right now as you're watching it literally right now. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I have hardly any time left. So I thought I would just kind of bring you guys along and show you kind of a few things that I'm doing to prepare. Um, I'm not uh, really doing that much, but I'm trying to feel like I'm doing a lot. I don't know, hard to say, but we, um, yeah, we'll just kind of go around the house and I'll show you kind of what I'm doing. So first I decided to kind of pick out my sort of transfer outfit um, now and I am just going to be cozy and comfy and warm. That's the biggest thing for me is I just want to be warm. So I've got some stuff picked out already. So here I just have a really big cozy sweater and it's nice and warm and soft so I will wear that. I also have my Lululemon pants. They're just uh, stretchy pants, pretty cozy and comfy. And I'll just wear kind of a tank top underneath. And um, I'm not sure for shoes, it doesn't really matter too much, but yeah, that's what I'll wear. So another thing um, with the transfer day is that you cannot wear makeup and you can't wear um, anything scented, no perfume, nothing like that, you need to be scent free. And that is because scent particles actually harm embryos. And obviously you don't want to do anything that could potentially harm your embryos. So scent free is the way to go. So um, I won't be wearing any makeup or anything like that. I do plan on showering tonight and I will just use some kind of non-scented um, shampoo to try and help with that as well. Um, one thing I am doing is I have some socks um, that's something I always do is some like long socks to wear um, on the transfer day because you're wearing like that gown, that robe and um, you need your feet to be warm. These aren't like super thick so I might bring um, like some slippers or something too just because um, it's a big thing to keep your feet warm. Um, that way the blood doesn't rush to your feet to try and keep them warm. It will go to your you know, your midsection, your uterus, and keep the blood pumping there, which is very, very important for implantation and stuff. So I'm also going to be bringing one of these with me. <laughs> I'm going to bring Caleb with me because he's a great support system and I want him to be there when we transfer the babies because what if they turn into our real babies, right? Yeah. Yeah. And he's good at filming the transfer, so... Yeah, you can't really do both. I can't. I gotta focus on one thing. You gotta focus on one or the other, and I yeah. think there's one that's a little bit more important. There, definitely. So you'll focus on the other thing a little bit too, but yeah, so um, I like to bring my spouse with me, um, but you know, whatever makes you the most comfortable is definitely what you should do. Comfort is key. So some things that I have been doing in terms of kind of like food and such um, is I have for quite a while now been really eating a lot of avocados. Um, they have lots of benefits kind of for infertility and for IVF transfers. And I usually try to keep them in my diet a lot, but I've been really like pounding them back lately. Another thing is Brazil nuts. These, um, are gross. I don't like them at all, to be honest with you. I think they're really gross to eat. So sometimes I'll like throw some chocolate chips in um, a handful and eat them like that, or I'll just pound them back and then drink juice or something to make it seem less disgusting. But I don't really like them, but they have benefits. So we'll do it, right? The next thing I am thinking about doing is doing the pineapple core. Um, so one thing that is kind of different for me with that is that I already am taking baby aspirin. And so I'm just gonna put that down, Sebby. So I'm already taking baby aspirin and um, 
it already does the job of thinning the blood and that's what the pineapple core does um, as kind of the idea so that the blood then goes to your uterus and helps with implantation. So um, I'm going to definitely ask my doctor tomorrow when I am there if that is something that they are like a big no-no on and then I won't do it. Um, but if he says okay, then I will. I just have it to be ready for it. Um, because I know a lot of you have kind of shared with me that you have done the pineapple core or that it has worked for you or you know that sort of thing and I definitely would like to try it um, but I just want to make sure that I'm not going overboard or doing anything harmful so I will be doing that what else what else am I doing Boba oh yeah <laughs> So a big thing that I tr am going to try and do and I have tried to do in the past is consume warm foods and warm liquids around transfer day. Um, that is again the whole blood thing. Um, if you have cold foods then it's harder for your body to, to, to digest um, and then it's taking away the blood that should be going to those embryos. So yeah, so we are going to be making tonight some unstuffed cabbage rolls, um, which is a yummy dish, and I'm gonna be picking up soup this week and you know, eating all those warm foods. I'm gonna have some herbal non-caffeinated tea and stuff like that to try and help. Um, that's another thing is I have been cutting out caffeine. I haven't had an ounce of caffeine in like over a month. Like I haven't had coffee Actually? in, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Good job. You, you proud of me? Yeah. It's so hard though. Every morning he uses the coffee machine to make a coffee and I smell it and I'm like, oh, I want it. But I don't drink it. I haven't in so long. But to be honest, for the past year, probably 70% of the year I haven't had any caffeine because I've been always trying not to. Just so, always on that baby making train. I know. Like it's so tiring. I just want to drink coffee. But anyways, that's definitely one thing. Oh yeah, as you guys know, as we've talked about this way too much probably because we are too excited for it, but tomorrow on the way home from the transfer, we will be picking up some McDonald's french fries to eat just in case, right? Why not? Like if it were actually something that worked and I didn't do it, you know, like you want to you wanna just try everything. When you're this desperate like I am, you basically are giving it your all and yeah. And they taste good, yeah, totally. So another thing that's big is whether or not to like do bed rest afterwards or to like go about your normal routine. And like, I don't really know, like my doctors usually say to rest a little and then just pick back up. Um, obviously no heavy lifting or anything like that. So I think I'm going to mix it together. I think I'm going to spend some time on that couch right there because it's calling my name. It looks amazing. Push up my underwear. Oh my gosh, underwear! <laughs> and then um, I will also like still, you know, take short walks and do things to get the blood pumping. That's kind of the idea is if you're just st sitting still um, for hours and hours and hours, you're not actually getting any blood moving. Um, so I'm gonna definitely do a mix of both um, rest and relax and try and make sure that I'm giving you know, not exerting myself or anything, but then maybe every once in a while I'll like get up and like do a lap around the island like this. Probably slower. <laughs> but you know, just like that, just yeah, to try and get the blood pumping. <laughs> I do too. Whatever. Anyways, yeah. Um, but I can't think of anything else. I'm sure there's something else and I will definitely let you guys know in one of the other videos if I add anything to this or whatever, but that's all I can think of for right now. Uh, yeah. But also, like, the fact that, the fact that it got changed because you had the wrong date the first time you booked the transfer. Yeah. Is good, because if it was the Friday, I mean, and then we were just going to go to Vlogger Fair right after, like, you wouldn't be able to, like, do anything. You wouldn't yeah. want to move that much. So, yeah. it's good that it's tomorrow, because by, uh, by the time Vlogger Fair rolls around, you'll be... I guess able to move around a bit more and stuff. I'm definitely, if you're 
interested about that. I am definitely taking it easy. Like I told Caleb, I was like, you're probably going to hate me by the end because we're going to take a break and sit down like probably every half an hour. Like, you know, I'm going to be very smart about it because really the embryos is what matters the most. We are driving to Seattle, which for us is going to be like a 12 hour drive, which is crazy. But you know, I get to be in the car and uh, I get to be relaxing. I get to be having fun. That's the big thing is like being stress-free, enjoying um, enjoying your time. Laughing is a big one. We're probably going to, you know, watch some comedy and stuff like that to try and help with that. So that's something that I've heard is, you know, laughing. I don't know. We're just going to try and have a good day and make it a good day and give those embryos the chance they deserve. That's my plan. So yeah, I need to shut up and you are seriously <laughs> rambling. I do that a lot. I know I feel bad, but I'm uh, yeah. Do Sorry. You know? Do you feel bad? Well, it has there's some important information here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. So, anyways, uh-huh. on that note, I'm going to help Caleb cook the unstuffed cabbage because we all know he can't do it by himself. Are so. you kidding me? <laughs> What's the next step? Uh, I'm cooking the ground beef. <laughs> Good enough. You know what the next step is? <laughs> yeah, man. You point me in the right direction um, by giving me the actual uh, recipe. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, so please keep us in your thoughts as you're watching this. Like I said, we're probably doing it right now or have already done it. And we are so excited and we really just can't wait to see a picture of those three embryos. Like that's really exciting. Um, If you want kind of live updates, follow us both on Snapchat and on Instagram. We'll be posting kind of on our Instagram stories and things like that and Twitter also. And we'll just kind of give you guys like a live update because that's kind of fun. So that is all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening to me ramble on about all of this stuff. And for Caleb, I love you. I love you too. I love you. Okay, let's go. All right. Thank you guys. Bye. See you guys. I got a video over here and a video over here and a subscribe button down there. (laughs) (laughs) So check it in, roll them out. Bye, guys.